Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back and I've got my apothecary at home for March 2022. Yay! I don't remember what the theme of this box is. We'll find out in just a second. So hello guys and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including subscription unboxings. And today, like I said, we're doing apothecary at home. It is a herbal subscription box, but it's also going to teach you how to be, um, a, an herbalist. It's going to, it's going to teach you how to make shit with herbs. Mm, that's what it does. It's going to teach you how to make shit with herbs. So, um, a, an apothecarian, is that a word? It's going to make you an apothecarian. It sounds really cool. I, can I put that after my name? Um, so I'm a nurse, so I'm going to be like Lisa RN, SCRN, which is my stroke, um, certification RN. And then I'm going to put apothecarian, crystal practitioner, astrologer, tarot reader. Okay. That's what we're going to do. All right. So, and when you guys address me from now on, address me like that. <laughs> Just kidding. You can call me Lisa or Luna, whatever. Lisa or Luna. Okay. Um, D hey, Dylan, I got my monster. Did I say that on my last video? I wanted to let you know. Dylan, Dylan of the Mogwai, Dylan the Mogwai of the, the, the blah, blah, blah. Um, what does that mean? Can you tell me what your name means? Is it like a Mogwai, like from the movie Gremlins? I'm just curious. I don't understand. Or is it a Magi? Or is it a Mogwai or a Magi? I don't know. Anyways, Dylan. Your loon is here. Body snatchers did not come. I'm drinking my monster. But anyway. But again, to my friend Kristen, I'll drink some water in a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys are like, what the fuck? New, pe new people, I'm sorry. We've got inside jokes going on here. Um, watch all my videos and read all the comments, and then you'll know what we're talking about. <laughs> all right. So when you first start to open this, it says, can you see that? Make your own medicine. Make your own medicine. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I remember. Um, Apothecary at Home presents Botanical Beauty. So this is our theme. I like to get the printed ones. Um, you can just get the digital um, paperwork. But I'm like, I'm going to end up printing it out anyways. So I kind of want it to be in a booklet. But then I was like, but then I could put it in like a binder or something. If I had, if I printed it out, I don't even know. We'll see. I'm, I'm yet to decide what I'm going to do with this. This is only my second box from them. So anyways, this is our pamphlet. It's got lots of information in here. Um, talks about what's inside the box. And then, um, so let's get out the box contents and then we'll talk a little bit more. I wonder if it says anything about. All right. So first off, they always give us little artworks um, in the box, or at least in the last two boxes, because those are the ones that I've subscribed to. Um, I'm assuming they always do that. And I think what I'm going to do is put, oh shit, I need to find my other, it's over there. I need to find my other one because I want to make a like herbal grimoire and, um, it'll kind of be like a notebook grimoire. So when I take they have a class that's live, but also recorded, and then it's available for a month. So I need to get my shit in order because um, last month is probably going to go away and I need to go take notes. But I figured I could take some notes and then transcribe it really pretty into like an, uh, a uh, herbal grimoire. So first, we've got this herb. Um, it says Centella Azac. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out, um, like the other name for that. All right. And then we get this guy and it says, Esquisitum. Mm -hmm. That's the name of that one. Then we have, oh, I'm assuming this is Rosemary. <laughs> Rosemarianus Officinale. The official rosemary all right so 
I'm assuming we've got rosemary. All right, so then they also include um, these little labels. Let me try to. That way you can write whatever the dilly flop it that you create. You could put that on there and put that in your jars. And apparently they always give you a loose leaf tea. I believe it's by the same company each time. This one is hair stimulation. I actually don't need that because my hair grows too fast and my hair's short and I don't really want it to grow fast. Um, especially when like, so I have an undercut guys. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that, but it's all shaved underneath here. Um, I don't know what the hell my hairdresser was doing the other day. Kate, if you're watching girl, what happened there? Right around the ear. <laughs> but, um, when that starts growing out and I put my hair in this little nub, um, a lot of times, especially when I'm working, cause I wear like a headset cause I'm a virtual nurse. Um, if this starts growing out, I don't know. I always say that I look like my grandpa, <laughs> so I don't want my hair to grow, but anyways, maybe I'll give this away. I'll give this away. All right. So it's organic peppermint, horsetail, rosemary, sage, nettle, and oat straw. But I wonder, I can't, can't smell it. I'm not going to open it because I think I'm going to give it away. All right. See if we can, why doesn't it tell me? Herb, herb, mystery herb. Du, 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 du. Oh, okay. Hair stimulation tea by Lo the loose leaf. Okay. I knew it was like by the same as they had before. I don't know. This it's it's a huge pamphlet. That's why like it's hard to find like if they tell you anything about. I don't know that they um, tell you anything about the actual tea, but you can kind of just you know read about it on here. So, anyways, this is our tea. I digress. Okay, putting it in my giveaway box over there, and then we have Good Morning Beautiful One Essential Oil Wipe by Happy Spritz. So we got this guy. Um, it says, use our 100% biodegradable and sustainable essential oil wipes throughout the day on face, body, and hands. Like you can use it more than once. Uplifting, energizing, promotes happiness. Rise and shine, oh, for uses. Rise and shine, travel, sweaty adventures, and working out uh, at the, not working out at the office, working out, comma, at the office, glamping or camping in the wild, avoid contact with eyes, portion of the proceeds go to benefit animal rescue. I don't know if it tells us anything. It just says it's a bonus gift. So, um, I will try this at some point. Maybe I should have a sweaty adventure. <laughs> Oops, that sounds dirty. Always. Okay, let's keep going. So we have some seeds, rosemary seeds, and so they give you seeds to grow your own. Um, and maybe eventually when my boyfriend and I move, because um, we want to move somewhere warm, eventually when we do that, maybe we'll have a garden or something. We'll see. All right, so rosemary seeds for planting and then we've got they give us um jars and stuff to put our shit in so we've got some amber jars for some of our uh things that we're gonna make i still haven't made the stuff from the last box guys yeah um so eventually eventually then we've got um some muslin bags and they also contain whoops some jars so these are uh, purple cobalt. Mm, they are beautiful. And they're droppers. Ding, 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 ding. Fun. Okay, God, I got it. I got a freaking, and I think you do something with these muslin bags too. I need to make some shit. I'm off for several days, so let me see if I can um, get moving on making some stuff. We've got horsetail is our first herb. So it's in this bag, it's two ounces of that. And then we have, um, let's see, two ounces of rosemary. We figured that was happening. And then we've got, um, and I believe that this is our bonus, yeah, mystery bonus herb, Gouda Cola. Gutu Cola. And it's a one ounce bag. 
So that is that. And then, um, okay, there's just like a health disclaimer in here. Basically, you know, um, you should consult your physician, maybe. I don't know if it says that. Um, herbalists do not diagnose, nor do they treat. Um, da, 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 da. It's supposed to support your body's natural healing processes. Blur to blur to blur. Um, so that is that. So that is all of our goodies in here. But I will tell you about the pamphlets. So, um, okay, sorry. I, 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 Okay. She, oh, she gives you some recommended reading. Oh, girl, like, tell me more books to buy. I bought a big shit. I was going to show you guys. I did get it. It was, um, like herbal medicine, I think is what it's called. Let me see if I can find it, um, on here and I will link it below in case. Well, maybe because I feel like it was a little harder to get. Let me it took a while to get to me. I ordered it off of Amazon. Er, uh, medicinal herbalism. Let's see if it's still available. It is. And it's $54. There's only six left in stock. So this is the book that I bought that was recommended um, by the creator of this box. I will link it below in case you guys are interested in that. All right. So anyways... So the recommended reading for this box is Beauty in the Soul, The Extraordinary Power of Everyday Beauty to Heal Your Life. It's by Piero Ferrucci. All right. So it says, we had a difficult time naming this edition because the word beauty has so many unintentional connotations. Herbal cosmetics felt too related to makeup, which we won't focus heavily on, and herbal aesthetics felt too vague. We landed on botanical beauty, but before we dive in, let's get one thing straight. You are already beautiful. Love it. Um, take a moment wherever you are, read that again, and breathe into the deep inner knowing that you are already beautiful. Everybody say it together. I am already beautiful. Yes, queen. Okay. Yeah, girl. Mm -mm. All that shit. Okay. You are already worthy. You are already enough, girl. Yes. And boy, um, Dylan, you may be my only guy that watches me. Listen, if I have any more guys watching me, leave me a fucking comment below. I want to know. I want to know because I'm always like, hey, girl. Anyway. But you know what? I... <laughs> Forgive me because I would probably do hey girl to any of the guys too because I do that to my boyfriend sometimes and he's like, what? <laughs> okay. Um, you do not need any products to validate this truth. It is an inherent part of you. Unfortunately, so many of us have been trained from a young age to believe that something or many things are wrong about our bodies and appearance. In a world that is quick to capitalize on a moment of insecurity, the truth bears repeating. You are already Beautiful. Okay. In this box, we'll look at some different ways to play with the human form and appearance using plant sand, plant sand, natural concoction, concoctions, concoctions. Keep in mind that aesthetics are always subjective and any of the suggestions offered can be tried or ignored as you see fit. Journal activity. I don't think I got this deep into the pamphlet for you guys last time. So, what is your favorite part of your appearance and why? My eyeballs. Um, I, I do think I have pretty eyes. So, what do you guys, I would love to hear in the comments below what your favorite um, part of your appearance is and why. Um, I don't know why. Because they're blue <laughs> and I like blue. Um, not that, you know, blue's the only pretty color or anything like that but mine are kind of bluish gray and it changes with my color of my shirt this is one of my shirts guys trust your intuition I have light hands and dark hands of this in my Etsy shop so um, that's linked below if you guys are interested in my shirt but um, like this blue probably makes my eyes look more gray but anyways so let me hear what your favorite um, favorite part of your appearances and why. Uh, what does beauty mean to you? That's what, those are some really good journal stuff. 
All right, so anyways, I'm not gonna read all of this. There's a lot of things here. And then there's another journal activity. What was the last beautiful thing you witnessed? <sighs> what was the last beautiful thing that I witnessed? You know, I'm gonna say, there's a lot of things that, you know, we all witness that are beautiful, but, um, so my granddaughter, uh, I went, I had her like recently and when I went to pick her up, I, um, chatted for a bit with her mom, who's not with my son anymore, but she just had twin baby boys and that was the the last like profound beautiful thing that i saw was those babies omg jada if you're watching girl your babies are gorgeous and oh my god having viv vivian's my granddaughter having her be the big sister and help take care of them is precious that's the other thing i keep seeing videos of her like doing cute things with them so um so leaving me a comment below like what was the last beautiful thing that you saw or what is your favorite part of your appearance i'd love to hear about that all right so then we start talking about herbs in the skin. So she's gonna talk about different layers of the skin, um, some functions of the skin. Like she goes into depth, guys. This, this is a really cool box. And then she talks about traditional Chinese medicine, rules of thumb for skin support, um, herbal hair care. And she's not even just talking about like the hair on your head. She's talking about your eyebrows, your, your eyebrows your eyebrows, there's an R in there, and your eyelashes. And then uh, some general recommendations for healthy hair. Oh, nails. Girl, mm, mine are looking like shit. So she talks about nails, your cuticles, um, herbal actions with different body systems like the lymphatic system, uh, hepatic, circulatory system, all that good stuff. Okay. And then she goes into depth about the horsetail um, herb, which is this guy. Talks about its medicinal uses for the hair, skin, and nails. Um, contradictions, correspondences, magical uses, love. And then we talk about rosemary, this guy. All those things, uh, medicinal uses, contradictions, synergies, history and folklore. Um, indigenous use, correspondences, and magical uses. And that talks about their herbal um, actions, uh, parts used medicinally, like parts of that plant, the botanical family, common names, Latin name. Um, and then she talks about the, a little bit about the mystery herb, which was our uh, Godu Cola. Um, and then sources used in this study guide. So she gives you more information to go search on your own. Then we have project ideas, simple tincture options, a sedum hair rinse, infused oil treatment for hair and scalp, infused oil skin serum, herbal infused witch hazel. And then we have how to make a simple tincture, tincture folk method how to make an infused oil, sun method, how to make an herbal acetum with vinegar, and then bonus recipes. So we've got nutri nutritive, 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 overnight infusion, rosemary hydrosol, grain clay cleanser, facial eye, facial and under eye cream, facial steam for dry skin, facial steam for oily skin, and then there's lots of videos, uh, like there's QR codes in here for um, starting your rosemary seeds indoors, rosemary metaphysiology, horsetail botany with introduction with Yarrow Willard, horsetail botany and herbal introduction, rosemary Gladstar on the go to cola, go to cola with Joe Hollis of Mountain Gardens. And then we have our study checklist. And she talks about um, what you want to do if you want to be just a hobbyist or a student or an apprentice. Um, so this is sounding so great. I'm so bad. Um, and it says, like the box, earn 50 plant points by leaving us a public review on Crate Joy Marketplace. Stay tuned for April's box, Wild Woman Wellness. We'll be learning about herbal support for women's entire life cycle from maiden mother to crone. Yes. 
There's always womb for another fabulous herbal <laughs> apprentice box. There's always womb, as in room, but anyways. How fun is this, guys? So that is our Apothecary at Home box for March 2022, all about botanical beauty. So excited. All right, so I need to take some days off. Ugh, I need to tell my phone to shush. It is being loud, because I still have more things to do, y'all. So lots of things for me to make, and eventually I'll show you guys my creations once I actually do that. So <laughs> thanks guys for tuning in. I'd love to hear what you think about this box. And again, those journal prompts, I'd love to hear if you want to comment below. What is your favorite um, part of your appearance? And what is the last thing that you saw that was beautiful? I'd love to hear. So, um, and if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, it really helps out my channel. And if you guys are not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a current subscriber, thanks guys. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I will link last month's Apothecary at Home box right here. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.